independent Dulux Reader printers are quite fascinating, but can be tricky. Let's look at an issue I've planted in my model's G-code for this demonstration. How fortuitous, the warning, the problematic line of G-code, and the left and right printhead gantry coordinates, 334 and 369. Let's investigate why coordinate 334 is an issue for our left printhead by examining our right and left travel parameters. Let's jog the right to find our minimum and maximum printing travel range. Outstanding! 32 to 365. How close is 32? That close. Our soft limit for right is 32. Let's examine our left print head's minimum and maximum safe printing range on the shared x-axis gantry. Outstanding! Negative 3 to 330. Here's our model, positioned near the edge of our virtual platform in our slicer software. Ignore the warning stating we're printing outside of our safe build area. Here we can see, at our insisted location, the G-code was successfully generated. Let's navigate to our software's printer settings and investigate some parameters. We have our left extruder's clearance values for sequential printing and our rights. Ah! A virtual extruder offset will check whether models are placed outside the extruder's printing range. Let's carefully consider what this value should be. We have our print heads on a shared x-axis gantry. Our soft limits were between negative 3 and 330 for our left print head with a 35 millimeter inaccessible zone, and between 32 and 365 for our right print head with a 35 millimeter inaccessible zone. This makes 32 and 330 their joint soft limit coordinates when working in concert a total traversable range of 295 millimeters in the x-axis for our dual-color print. Ergo, setting 35 millimeters in our virtual offset X should help protect against future printhead collisions. Now that we've placed our model geometry, platform additions, and supports within an accessible range for both printheads, we can successfully use our independent dual extruders together.